All right. Thanks, mathematicians. So earlier, we were counting, and we learned that there were 13 mathematicians who were wearing shoes without laces. I want you to go ahead and put your eyes up here at the shoes with laces, at the number of mathematicians with shoes who have shoes with laces. And I want you to think in your smart brain, which is more? Which is more? 13. And more importantly, why? Which is more? And more importantly, why? Please turn and tell your partner which one you think is more. Turn and talk. Thanks for finishing up your conversations. Isabel, you did, thank you for finding a partner to talk to. That was important. I'm just curious. We haven't counted yet. We haven't counted the number of mathematicians who are wearing shoes with laces today. I'm curious to find out whether, I'm curious to find out whether you think there are more people with, who are wearing shoes with laces or more people wearing shoes without laces. Um, Evelyn, what do you think? Come on up, please. Why do you think it's more? Oh, there's a lot. It looks like it's a lot. Is there somebody who can say in, in their own words what they think Evelyn is trying to say? Is there somebody who can say in their own words what they think Evelyn is trying to say? Steve, can you say what you think Evelyn is trying to say? Evelyn is trying to say um, because 13 is more. How can she tell 13 is more? Because it looks like it's less. It looks like it's longer. It looks like it's longer. I heard her say that word. It looks like it's a lot. Thanks, Evelyn. I'm looking for another idea. Brandon, what are you thinking? Brandon. Brandon, what are you thinking? Come on up, please. No, thank you. Turn and tell your friends. Do you think it's more because it's it's longer? Do you agree with Evelyn? You say I agree with Evelyn. Why do you agree with Evelyn? Why? It has more. Is there somebody who can repeat what Brandon is saying? Is there somebody who can repeat what Brandon is saying? Brandon, find a friend who can repeat what you're, what you're saying. Jeremiah, thank you so much for being ready. Now Brandon can call on you. John. What's Brandon trying to say? Come on up. Thanks, Brandon. has all of these. Brandon, is that what you were saying? I heard you saying it was more, but what was your reason? What did your friend just say? This one? Okay, now, thanks. John, would you help us actually count how many people are wearing shoes with laces? Mathematicians, let's watch John do it, and then we'll do it with him. It's let, let's let it be John's turn, okay? Okay, should we count on him? Let's count with John to make sure he's counting accurately, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. How? Oh, I, wait a second, John, will you count one more time? Will you count one more time? Let's make sure we're counting accurately. One, Is it John? Is it is it twelve or eleven? It's eleven. It's eleven. Just like we just counted them. We counted a couple times to make sure it's accurate. Mr. Torrance is gonna move the sticky notes around now so that maybe they look the same. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna be making a group of ten. One, two, three. 
Thanks for asking your friend to sit down in a kind way. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, oops in the way. Nine. Ten. Eleven. So we've got our group of ten. We've got our group of ten, and I'm going to circle that group of ten that we found. We've got our group of 10 here. It's high. It's really high, huh? We've got a group of 10 and one more. It's a tie. And here we've got a group of 10 and, and a group of three. You know what? I was hearing my friend Madden saying that he thinks it's a tie. Madden, can you come on up and explain to us what you're thinking? It's a tie. Well, hang on. Let's hear his thinking first. Let's hear his thinking I first. Think Body positioning. Your friends really want to see your face. I hear Madden saying that he thinks that they're the same because they're the same height. They're the same height up to each other. Can you, is there a mathematician who thinks they can repeat? Is there a mathematician who thinks that they can repeat me, what me, Madden is me. saying? My friend Malcolm, can you repeat what your friend Madden is saying? Yeah. Come on up, please. Wait, Madden, is that what you're saying? That you think that one is more, do you think that that one is more longer than that one? That's not what he was saying. That's not what he was saying. Say it again. Come on up and tell your friend Malcolm what you're saying. I was saying it looks like a body because they're the same. Body positioning, friends want to see your face. They look the same because they're the same height. They look the same because they're the same height. Hey, um, Malcolm, would you repeat what your friend Madden is saying? Madden is saying, They look the same because they're the same. It's the same height. It's a group of 10. What do you think? Do you agree with Madden? You agree? You think that they're the same? You think that 11 is the same as 13? You do? Okay. What do other mathematicians say? Madden or Malcolm? Let's call them a friend with a quiet hand at their heart and see if there's somebody else who can tell us something about what, um, what you're thinking. So I agree. The groups of 10 are the same height. I wonder which is more, though. I wonder which is more. He's looking for a friend who hasn't had a turn. That's so thoughtful of him. Israel, come on up, please, and tell us what you're thinking. Body positioning. Okay, so they look the same height. Is the number the same? Is 11 the same as 13? You're saying no. Why not? Because this one is just a one and a group of? A one and a group of? Ten. And the, this one has a? A group of ten and a? A group of ten and a three. A group of ten and a three. Mathematicians, I'm hearing two different ideas. I'm hearing two different ideas. Thanks, Israel. Please go back to your spot. I'm hearing two different ideas. Some people are saying that there, some people agree with Madden. They are saying that there is a tie. The number of people who are wearing shoes with laces is the same as the number of people who are wearing shoes without laces. Some people are saying that the number of people who are wearing shoes with laces is the same as the number of people who are wearing shoes without laces. The number of, no thank you. The number of people who are wearing shoes with laces is the same as the number of people who are wearing shoes without laces. I want you to think in your smart brain. What do you think? Are they are these the same? Are there the same number of people wearing shoes with laces as without laces? Or are they different? Are they different? Oh, in your brain, think about it. I think, Isabel, give your friend a partner. Okay. Do you think it's not a tie? Why?
Why? Wow, so many interesting ideas. Danielle, I was hearing you tell, telling your partners, Isabel and Angel, something really interesting. Would you please come on up and tell us what you were thinking? And I would appreciate it if you could say thank you to the three people who are making compassionate choices who are thinking about your heart first. Wait, and we're almost, we see we're almost done with this discussion. Say thank you to my friends. Danielle. Tell us about your thinking, Danielle. Oh, bye. Please tell your friends. How do you know that 13 is more? Because they're not the same number. They're not. And 13, and 13 is a bigger number, but it's still a 5. Is there somebody who can repeat what, what their friend Danielle is thinking? That is. Danielle is saying? Danielle is saying there's 11 here. Here. And there's 13 there. So Danielle and thinks? And so Danielle thinks. 13 is more. But I know it's still a tie. You think it's still a tie? How interesting. Now, one thing, uh, it, Danielle, is that what you were saying? Is that is that what you were saying? That 13 is more than 11? Yes. Yes, that is what you were saying? Okay, now I'm wondering, can you build me a stack of 13 cubes? Let's, let's measure. Let's find out. So how can we turn that into 13? They take you in a race. Great. So that's a stack of 13. Does that represent the number of mathematicians who are wearing shoes with laces or without laces? Without. Okay, let's put it right here. And let's build um, the number of the mathematicians who are the number of mathematicians who are wearing shoes with laces today. But how many people were wearing laces? Uh, eleven. Okay. We're gonna take those three away. Okay, great. All right. So tell us, just to make sure we understand your thinking, what number is this? Eleven. Say this is. This is eleven. And what does the eleven mean? Less. It's the number of people who are wearing shoes with, with laces. And what is this number? Thirteen. And it's the number of people who are wearing shoes with without. Without laces. And which one do you think is more? Which one do you think is more? 13. How do you know? Because 13 is bigger. The stack is bigger. The stack is bigger. The stack is bigger. Daniela, what do you think Danielle is trying to say? Um, it's more. One second. It's more 13. 13 is more? Is that what you're trying to say? And why, is, why does he think that? Because it's more. Will you show us where there's more, where that more is? Where are the, where are there more people? Which one is more? You say this one. This one. And that is people. Wearing no laces. People wearing no laces. Now, <laughs> thanks for explaining that, Danielle. Madden, you're still saying, thanks, Danielle, go back to the spot, please. Um, you're still saying that you think it's still a tie. Come on up, please. I'm really interested in that. Why are you thinking, go back to your spot, please, Danielle. Why do you think it's still a tie? They're still the same height, but are there more here? No. No, he still disagrees? How interesting. 
How interesting. There's some right there. There's some right there. Are these the ones that are born? Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I understand what my friend Madden is saying. Say it one more time, Emily. Let's be listening to our friend. Let's say it one more time. There's still? Okay, so the height is the same. But there's some right there. So do you do you want, what do you think your friend Danielle is saying? What's Danielle saying? Thirteen is more instead of eleven. Hmm. Abigail, last word on this. People are starting to get super wiggly. Come on up, Abigail. Thanks, Matt, for explaining your thinking to us. All right. So we've heard a couple of different ideas. We've heard a couple of different ideas. Abigail, what are you thinking? What do you think about what Abby's saying? Do you agree with her? Yes. Why do you agree with her? Yeah, and she was looking over here. She's looking at the one and the group of three. She's looking at the one and the group of three. How interesting. Mathematicians, thanks for having this discussion today. During closure, we'll take a look, we'll take another look at this data and we'll absolutely decide, we'll be able to decide which is more 13 or 11, which is more 13 or 11.